Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my melting basket for the rest of November. And it did take me some time to get back on here. I wanted to show you what the other half of my melting basket last month, but I just didn't get to it, so I had just been adding stuff to it um, every so often. But I did wanna share with you what I plan to melt the rest of November. I do have my dishwasher going in the background, so hopefully it's not too loud. Kinda of sounds just like white noise, hopefully. So I have a, woo, giant melting basket. Oh, okay. <laughs> here we go. Let's see what I have in here. There are some repeats from last month that I didn't get to that I still wanted to melt and then some new stuff. I don't have it in any specific order though, so we're just gonna get started. The first thing that I have is the pharmacist's daughter in confectionery and this is Cupcakes at Tiffany's Pink Sugar Blue Cotton Candy and Blueberry Muffin. They have quickly risen to the top of my favorites list um, as far as vendors go. I melted this one the other night but still wanted to include it to show you. This is L3 Waxy Wonders Pretzels Vanilla Bean Vanilla Buttercream Cinnamon Sugar Donuts and Sugar Cookie Dough and I will talk about that in my empties or if I do a what wax worked video I'll talk to you guys about that too. I have this from my friend I believe I believe this is from Michelle or is this oh now I can't remember I'm so sorry um, this is sniff my tarts in strawberry pound cake type pumpkin pecan waffles and vanilla waffle cone maybe this was from the round robin Maybe this was from the round, round robin. Robin, wow. <laughs> this smells really, really delicious. I think it was from that. Um, I cannot wait to try that. I have the pharmacist's daughter in Quiet Place, and this is pink sugar, peppermint, and driftwood. I'm really, really, really excited to try this scent. It smells wonderful on cold. I have the pharmacist's daughter, Black Cat Prowl. I am really excited to also melt this one. I just heard Danny um, talk about this on her channel and how unique it was. It's Nature Walk and Mac Apple. Did I already say that? Mm, it does smell really, really nice. So excited to try that. Next, we have a custom that I did with Kay's last year, and it's November Nights. Barbershop 1920s Pink Sugar and Marshmallow Fireside. Um, it looks like I could probably use the rest of this bag in one go, and we'll see, but this one smells really wonderful. I would love to make that custom again, but I am on a no-buy for November with my friend Farron. If you guys would like to join us, let me know. I can send you over the uh, November calendar that she made, and we're just posting that on our stories. I have rainbow melts in blue jeans. This is denim, downy ultra blue, and blue sugar. I thought that this one would be nice for a day when I clean. I have this wonderful gift that I got from my friend Jason. And this is Eros Kiss from Swanky. And I've never seen these bags before, so I'm not sure when these were released. But this is, I looked at the scent notes, and it's like masculine cologne, cashmere cedar, and vanilla lace, I think. And it smells wonderful. I actually have this one going in the house right now. And I just love cashmere cedar. It is just such a cozy scent. And then paired with the masculine cologne. It's so unique. I really, really enjoy that. I have Martha and Snoop from VCS. This is zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, cupcakes, Tiffany's, and brown sugar. I can't believe I haven't melted this one yet. Because everybody talks about that one, but I've never tried it. I have floofs and frights. I think this was in my basket um, last month. I have no idea what the scent notes on that are. And I know that um, Woof Wix is also going through a rebranding, a name change, so soon they will not be called Woof Wix anymore. I have this really cute heart tart with like Star Wars on it. This is from Sassy Wax, and this is in Harvest Nights. It's Sapphire Nights Harvest Festival in Tonka Bean, and it is so cute. I have a lot of Sassy Wax in this basket because I meant to pull her stuff um, for October, and I just didn't quite get there. Um, I have this loaf from Sassy Wax. It's a custom loaf that I did last year, 
and it is in but pumpkin pecan waffles banana crepes and drizzle salted caramel um, I do wish that the pumpkin pecan waffles in this was stronger we'll see because this is a year old now um, the banana crepes is quite the strongest note in there last time I melted it okay I pulled a loaf from Soul's Inspiration, you can see all the little candy pieces have fallen down to the bottom, but this is warm sugar cookies, and this is by far the best sugar cookie scent that you will ever come across. It is so authentic, it's so warm, it's so comforting. I love this. So I'd like to get started on that loaf. I have Lavender Frost from L3. I also think this was gifted to me. This is Lavender Christmas Trees Vanilla Bean Noel and Sugar Cookie Toasted Marshmallow. Um, I should really start writing people's names on the bags when I'm gifted something. That way I don't forget. I, I'm so bad at that. This is a, a rollover from last month. Pear, Green Apple, Vanilla Bean Noel. I really want to melt this one, so put it back in here from L3. Same with Hatchet. This one's so, so good. Why can't I ever remember the scent notes, though? Um... Is it like blackberry and, I don't know, it's like a fruity fresh scent. It's wonderful. So I would like to start on that. I have another Sassy Wax Melts, and this is in Pumpkin Princess. It's Sweet Pumpkin Puree, Palo Santo, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Another Sassy Wax. Look how cute he is. A little ghost. In Sweet Grace Type, um, this is a philosophy scent. This is green, citrusy, rose, jasmine, lily, wood, musky, amber, sweet cotton candy. Definitely a very perfumey, floral kind of scent. I have Sassy Wax in Cozy Up, Cozy Flannel, Autumn Delight, and Brown Sugar. Let me pull this one out so you guys can see what the tart looks like. You can both look. <laughs> How cute is that? And it's layered. Let me smell it. Yeah, it's very creamy. I think I'm getting a lot of the brown sugar. Mmm, that smells wonderful. I'm really excited to melt some more of her stuff this month. Okay, totally got my hair stuck in the bag. The Pharmacist's Daughter in All is Bright. I contemplated waiting to melt this till next month, but it just sounded too good. Frosted Cranberry Avo Bath in Olive Branch and a little mini loaf. Ebony Violet in the Red Room. This is Black Sugar, Cashmere Cedar, and Vanilla Lace. Actually very similar to the scent Eros, but instead of masculine um, cologne, it's Black Sugar, which Black Sugar is also a, um, I think it's the men's version of, from Aquilina, the cologne. So very interesting that those are so similar. Okay. Um, here is another little tart from Sassy, and this is in You'll Float 2, Fresh Pretzels, Candy Corn, and Palo Santo. I've melted this one before, and it's really lovely. I love that. Another Vintage Chic scent. The label's a little bit messed up on this guy, but it's a cute little, is it a reindeer or a moose? Reindeer. I don't know. Um, this is Powdered Donuts, Cinnamon Buns, Zucchini Bread, Buttery Vanilla, Fresh Rolled Dough, Sugared Almonds. readjust with you guys there for a second um look at jack isn't he cute sassy wax and this is pixie pine i love this scent it's berries and pine strawberry pine and sweet rocky pine strawberry and pine together is one of the most beautiful things that i've ever come across and that one's wonderful i have another custom that i did with k's last year and this is hallmark movies and chill I did strawberry rhubarb pie, sugared spruce, and sugar cookie crunch. This turned out also very, very good. I'm excited to start actually watching the Hallmark movies. <laughs> okay, this is the last thing I own from Wandering in Wonderland. Last time I read that she is going to be going out of business, but I wonder if something maybe sparked her interest to keep in business. I have to go back and look at her Facebook page because it seems like she's been doing more sales or... I don't know. It's been more active on her Facebook group. So I need to go back and look and see if she actually is going out of business. But this is Halloween 1978. And it is cotton sheets, pumpkin sugar, and I'm sorry, cotton sheets, pumpkin marshmallow, and sugar cookie dough. 
So, like I said, that's the last thing I own from that company, and I would like to finish it. Um, Britta's Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. This is a rollover. Sour Patch Kids Gummy Bear Slushy and Blue Raspberry. I have a Rose Girls in French Vanilla and Campfire Marshmallow. I love her Campfire Marshmallow. It is so good and so strong. A couple other rollovers. Actually, quite a few more. Um, apple Cart from Empire Alchemy. Red Delicious Apple Ice Cream Scoop Bread. Toasted Marshmallow. Pizzelle and Pink Sugar. Autumn Cat, Southern California Winter, Crushed Sage, Hint of Smoke, and Lavender. I have Sea Sugar in Gooey Granny Butter Cookies. That one sounds so good. I really do want to try that. L3 Waxy Wonders in a Bitty Betty Cinnamon Sugar Donuts Espresso Fresh Baked Bread. Pumpkin Pie Sea Salt Caramel Palo Santo from L3 also. I think that was um, a custom from my friend Tasha that I didn't try that came out last year. A, another Sassy Wax Melts Bitty Betty Loaf. And this is in Cupcakes at Tiffany's Pumpkin Puree and Cream Cheese Frosting. This was yeah, a custom that I did. A pear. It's kind of hard to see because she's kind of gross in there now. <laughs> this is from um, the Bathing Garden Crimson Rustic Pear. This is pear, caramel, brown sugar, and crisp apple. Sassy Wax in Buttercup. Sweet Cornbread. Bet your butterscotch and sugar milk. That's a cute little cat. I didn't get to this one last um, month either, and I really would like to. Autumn Night Barbershop from Southbound. Ground cinnamon sticks, nutmeg, clove, apple, cedar, and sandalwood, amber, musk, and shaving cream. Very unique. Very pretty. I just didn't have, I didn't come across the day that I really wanted to melt it. So hopefully I'll have that chance coming up. L3 Waxy Wonders in Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Fresh Picked Strawberries. I'm interested to see if I actually will like this. That Fresh Picked Strawberry note is so green and so strong. I'm hoping the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles comes out on that. And then Pear Boom Boom from L3 also in a loaf. It'd be like a nice refreshing scent, I think. And moving on, have another small basket here on the side. Ooh, she's like in the wire basket, so hard to see. But I picked some more scoopables, some brittles, and some clamshells in here. I have kolaches from L3. This is sweet, buttery, flaky pastry. I have tried her brown sugar banana kolaches, which was amazing. So I got the scoopable with the intention, it's not used, um, of making my own blends, and I'm so excited. Um, I have this melting in the bedroom right now. This is Blue Sugar Marshmallow from L3. Very strong. Very strong. I got this one from my friend Michelle. And this is Scoopable Tart Wax in Cereal Killer Cup of Cake. Which is Cereal Killer blended with Cup of Cake. I have not tried this vendor. So it was so sweet of her to send this my way so I could try. And very, very generous of her as well. This is one of my favorite scents from L3. This is Father Christmas. It's fresh nectarines in the stockings with creamy whole vanilla beans. And it is seriously one of the best, most creamy, like citrusy, like stone fruit kind of scent. Oh gosh, I just love it so much. It must be that vanilla bean um, note that she has. I'm stacking them up over there. Um, let's see, I have another one from Scoopable Tart Wax that I was gifted. And this is Save the Drama for Your Mama. It's Pink Sugar and Monster Cookie. I really hope that this vendor performs well for me. That smells delicious. It smells like there's like zucchini bread in there, but I, I don't actually know. I have Serpent Staff from L3. Looks like this one was, yeah, last October. Cookie dough stuffed with toffee bits and dusted with cinnamon and sugar. Yeah, this one is absolutely delicious. I love this one. I have Clown Carnival from Zape. I don't think the scent notes are on here. Let's see if I can smell this one. Um, I got this one last year, I believe, and I don't think I yeah, I don't think I've tried it. Hmm. There might be a popcorn note in there. That will be interesting. I hope I like it. 
it's very strong okay moving on to some clamshells that I have I have stranger things from super tarts this is cold or cola cherry vanilla waffle cone and upside down cake I have Clark toasted hazelnuts elderberry cheesecake apricot and sugar cookie I'm really excited to see how her elderberry is because not a lot of vendors use that I think I'm getting a lot of the apricot yeah we'll see um, we have Howard and this is dark chocolate graham crackers and peppermint that sounds lovely I have to the moon and back creations in Cromwell which is brew I wanted to melt this one last month and I never never got it this is cinnamon sugar dark amber balsam and patchouli a very unique scent I have the Welsh witch from the bathing garden this one is super like it smells kind of like dirt kind of like patchouli kind of like has some type of spice in there um, it smells super unique I did not get to melt haunted hayride from southbound last month balsam vetiver cedarwood fresh pine crisp leaves and berries I pulled warm scones from super tarts blackberry scone berry smoothie mac apple and tress leches cake fall leaves and woodsy vanilla from the bathing garden I still have faded opulence to burn or to melt from the bathing garden this is one of my favorite all-time scents from Wiffwicks, A Leaf in the Sheets. Leaves, white chocolate, donuts, apple, and laundry. I wonder if they're going to do away with like all their scents and recreate new ones. I would be so sad. Southbound blueberry pumpkin ice cream. Fresh blueberries, ripe pumpkins, blended with sweet vanilla cream. The Tea Witch from the Bathing Garden. I don't know if this is like chai tea or black tea or what's in that one. It kind of smells like black tea. I didn't get to birdies this one in catch me I'm falling um, this is fallen leaves vanilla pumpkin pie and Amish cinnamon bread I'm almost honestly pretty pumpkin pied out at this point but I still would like to get through these so the last I have four more brittles I have the melting co in pumpkin sugar donut which is pumpkin baked donuts tossed with sugar and spice I have Alibaba from sassy grill aroma Pretzels, green apple, salted caramel, and marshmallow. I have Thriller from the Melting Co. In marshmallow, fireside, candy corn, and coconut. And then lastly, I still have Frankenstein from Ava's Country Cupboard, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Tiffany's Cupcakes, who is also rebranding her stuff and renaming. And I don't know what's happening in the world, but it makes me kind of sad. Hopefully good things will be coming. Um, but yeah, I'll have to keep up to date on her Facebook page to see what's going on. I think she has a sale happening on the old stuff on the website. Was it like this weekend or something? So if you're looking to try some of her stuff um, at a um, on a sale price, then... I think this weekend will be the time for you. So that is what I have for my melting basket for the rest of the month of November. I hope that you guys are enjoying your week and we will talk again soon. All right, bye.